G'day everybody, today we'll be looking at the July Open as judged by Cheryl Griffiths. Bird on the wire, commended. Good sky that complements the dark feathers of the bird. Good catch light can be seen in the eye. Feathers around the head and down the chest are nice and sharp. Feather soft, commended. Mako has filled the frame nicely with this dandelion. Nice shallow depth of field does not distract our view away from the main subject. Good lighting that allows the viewer to see the complex arrangement of seeds. Image is nice and sharp. Silhouette sunset, commended. Lovely silhouette of this couple. I like the angle that the maker has composed the shot so that people are more to the right and not in the centre. The image has been exposed well to show off this lovely time of day. Tranquility in Vienna, commended. Bridge forms a nice diagonal across the water and becomes a leading line for the eye to naturally follow and see what's on the other side. Lovely lighting showing off the beautiful autumn colours in this park. Exposed well for we can see good detail in the tree on the left hand side and lovely reflections below the bridge. Antique tap, commended. Mako has come in nice and close with this shot, allowing the viewer to see the detail in the tap head and the water coming out of it. The image has been exposed well. Colours are natural and true. Autumn in abstract. With abstracts there are no guidelines or rules about composition or framing. We can see shape and form throughout this image and that it's bright and very colourful. Abstracts give us a different view of things where the entirety of the subject is obscured or unseen. Bushfire glow. Image is not displaying any glow on my screen, sorry. I can see what looks like a long cloud in the middle of the frame above the treetops and presume this is the glow. I can see that it's taken in half sunlight which is what has probably blown out the image and given you an inaccurate white balance. Don't use auto white balance for bright sunny days. Like this, choose bright sun or cloudy. If you have taken this image in RAW, you will be able to retrieve some details as the RAW file is similar to a negative in the old film days. Cape Levick. Like that the maker has focused on the rocks in the foreground for we can see good texture in the two sides facing us, which suggests lightening the shadow that is cast by the rock and check the ISO as the grainy sky suggests too high ISO. Chilly morning, Orbridge Station. Image fills the frame nicely and Mako has used the roses in the foreground as a frame. The sky is very grainy which may suggest too high an ISO. Tripod with a cable release and slow shutter will alleviate this. Cow's Beach, commended. 
lovely wispy sky that complements this image. Makros captured lots of activity on the beach. I like the curve of the foreshore and the inclusion of the waves breaking on the sand. Exposed well for colours are nice and natural. Only suggestion would be to remove the tree branch at the top by cloning it out, not cropping out. Crystallised fruit, highly commended. Lovely still life, good lighting and exposed well. We can see good details in the berries in the stand of the fruit bowl. Image is lovely and sharp. Deep in thought. Like that the maker has included the grasses in the foreground for they act as a frame. The colours of the people's clothing stand out against the green foliage on the river and the trees on the other side. Dusk. I think this image would have presented better if it had been taken in portrait mode, for I believe the tree below the moon is the main focal point and would then complement the moon and cloudy sky better. Bonfire night. Mako has captured a nice silhouette of a man in the glow of the fire. I like the flurry of sparks, but care needs to be taken with the overexposed area in the centre of the fire. This can be corrected in post-processing. Learn an ancient art. Highly commended. Image has been composed well. We can see that the maker has put some thought into the setup of these items and we can identify the story being told. Nice non-distracting background. The image has been exposed well for we can see good detail in all the feathers. The image is crisp and sharp. Observing. Commended. The image has been exposed well for the white surrounding bricks. We can see good texture and detail in the gates and natural colour in the gate and man's clothing. Whilst the person looking through the observation slot is in shade, we can see the tone of his skin due to the exposure settings. Well done. Still Life 3, highly commended. Nice still life, good lighting and exposure have allowed us to see the fine details in all the grasses along with the texture in the wooden chessboard, like how the image has been composed. Head in hands, commended. Good definition of the model's hair and good catch lights in the eyes. Model is making nice eye contact with the camera. Feel that the lighting on the face is a bit strong, like the creative aspect of the head floating and being held only by the hands. Little cloud. One lone cloud in a beautiful blue sky. Good definition in the cloud and I like that the maker has included the tree and foliage on the left hand side for it gives the impression of a natural frame. I understand the simplicity of this one cloud but believe that something else is needed i.e. a boat in the water or children playing on the beach. Also I find the maker that it is near waters Sorry, also find the marker that is near water's edge just in from the foliage to be distracting. To the beach, commended. Nice black and white that shows good tonal range and the perspective gives depth like the texture that's been captured in the fence palings. Tree. 
tree line. Whilst the Mako is kept in good detail in the foliage of the tree to the right, the image is overexposed and too bright. We can see no detail in the clouds. Due to the harsh light. Waiting for someone. Highly commended. Good use of the rule of odds. Yes, there is such a thing. It's a compositional rule which is about creating visual pleasure. Our brains are hardwired to arrange things into symmetrical compositions, so they are aesthetically pleasing. I've put more on this rule of the third at the end of the section. Subjects are placed well in the frame, good use of lighting, and have been exposed well. Background is non-distracting, leaving the three chairs as the heroes in the frame. Everlasting Daisy, number one, highly commended. Nice symmetrical shape captured with lovely detail and repetition of the overlapping petals. Image has been exposed well for we can see true colour throughout with a nice shallow depth of field that does not distract, like the square crop that allows breathing space around the flower. Everlasting Daisy number two, highly commended. Another nice image like the angle that the maker has taken this shot for it allows us to clearly see the intricate patterns that Mother Nature has created. Centre of the flower is crisp as are the surrounding petals. Nice shallow depth of field that does not distract from the subject. Hill Country. Fence line running across the frame acts as a leading line taking us up to the old house. Like the undulating hills in the background and the angle that the maker has taken this image. But feel that the image needs more contrast to allow the tin roof of the house and surrounding items to stand out. In Skip Point Storm. Image portrays a nice, beautiful spot, like the clouds and the perspective angle that the maker has composed this image. The lone seagull gives the impression that there are not many people around. Unfortunately, the image is not sharp. La Plus Beau Village pronunciation possibly wrong. Image has been composed well for the maker has shown depth of the street with perspective. The street is bright and colourful with the painted house fronts and hanging flowers but the image is not sharp. Lupins in the wind. Highly commended. Mako has come down low and filled the frame with these beautiful flowers. Nice cloudy sky that complements the bright vibrant flowers and their foliage. Image is crisp and sharp. Mr and Mrs Wood Duck, highly commended. Background is nicely out of focus with shallow depth of field. Placement of the ducks in the frame is balanced. Images exposed well for we can see good details in both birds from their heads down the chest and onto the feet. All nice and sharp. Eyes are on both are crisp and have caps lights. Well done. Pioneer Children. Commended. Like the processing that's been done on this image, giving it a nice sepia toning, also like the grain, not noise, that's been included for the era. Lots of interest to the viewer as we look around the image. Planted. Nice abstract with the plant being the main focal point, like the two main branches on the diagonal. The top of the log is sharp, but the foreground area below the plant is soft and not in focus.
pony portrait in black and white. Ugly head shot of this pony with a good background that is not distracting. We can see detail in the hair and mane and the pony is making good eye contact with the camera. More contrast in this image will let the highlights and shadows come through in its mane. Raymond Island Evening, commended. Good composition that showcases this lovely serene image. The image has been exposed well for we can see nice afternoon sunlight on the riverbank. The inclusion of the swans adds balance against the boats and the big gum tree acts as a natural frame. Reedy Reflections, another interesting abstract, like the diagonal of the land and sky and the water reflection. Water ripples are giving a wavy effect to the image. Silver Leaf Pools, commended. Boat is positioned nicely on the rule of thirds and the amount of negative space in and make the image aesthetically pleasing and very dramatic. Good tonal range and exposed well. Silver Leaves Reflection. Nice low tide image with a dramatic sky. I feel this image would be more powerful if the negative space was in front rather than behind. Good cloud reflection in the water. Silver Leaves Rig. Very dramatic sky emphasising the low tide and sand ripples left on the foreshore. Like at the Mako has placed the rig on the rule of thirds and the negative space adds to the drama and mood of this image. Sun Orchid. Commended. Lovely shallow depth of field. The flower is very sharp in allowing us to see de the detail in the centre. Don't have a problem with the buds being out of focus due to the shallow depth of field, but I would try and reduce the brightness of the large white area to the right. Sunbeam. Mako has captured these sunbeams well with a small aperture and they add Interest along with the many birds. Feel that more contrast added to this image in post processing would make it really pop and emphasize the sun rays more. Tanzanian woman. Lovely photo of these two women, good reflection between them and don't have a problem that they are not looking at the camera. Clothing is bright and colourful but feel that the white vignette is too wide and needs to be narrower. The Art Centre. Mako has captured the intricate roof at Spire Well and like that they have centred the flags in the image with some nice wispy clouds in the sky, which suggests that you try and bring out more detail in the clouds in post-processing. Tranquil Pier, commended. Lovely golden glow in the background showing a setting sun in the afternoon. Like that this image has been placed centre of the frame and don't have a problem with that. It's bright and colourful and has a leading line taking us down to the viewing area at the end.
Tulip, highly commended. Absolutely beautiful images. Lovely toning and detail captured throughout. Background is nice and soft with shallow depth of field and emphasizes the colors in the petals and the drops of water on them nicely. Well done. Tussock, lovely detail captured in the grasses that are complemented by the rugged rocks. Good details in the tree trunks and background foliage. And that was the last image. Well done to everybody. All well deserved and great photography. Keep up the good work.